In this video we're going to be making the Chanel logo in Adobe Illustrator. To get started we will make a new document like usual. We'll have the name Chanel logo at the top. We'll have a print profile, one artboard, A4 size, landscape orientation, 3mm bleed, CMYK color mode and high quality print resolution. To get started with the Chanel logo you need to grab the ellipse tool from your toolbox. We're going to remove the fill color and just leave a stroke on which is going to be black. Now the stroke size we need to make pretty big. We're going to head up to, we won't even go above 20 point, we'll go up to 30 point. So type in 30 point. And you're just going to hold shift, click and drag on your page until you get a nice big circle like that. Grab your black arrow which is your selection tool, hold down the alt key. And you're going to have to click on this blue path and drag off it. Now you want to get these two circles lined up exactly at the center point of the right circle going over the edge of the left circle. Now your guides will show you when you get to that point. You'll have two circles wrapped together looking like that. Oops. Okay, the next thing we need to do, we can just highlight both of those and move them over a bit to the right. We need to get some gaps in these circles here to make them look like C's, the letter C. And to do that we're going to use our polygon tool. We're going to click once on the page, make a 50 millimeter radius and have three sides. And that's going to make a three-sided triangle with a 50 mil radius. Now we don't want this ugly black line on it, so first of all remove the stroke. The next thing you're going to do is choose white as your fill color. And you just need to rotate this, so hold down shift and hover just off one of the corners, like the right corner, and drag it around till it's on its side. You're going to move this triangle into the center. Your guides will show you when you get to the center of these circles and just move it in till it almost touches the right hand side circle. Just like that. You can just click back on this triangle, hold down the Alt key and drag it over to the right. We will need to hold shift and rotate it around again, get it in the center and move it on in over the other side. Okay. So that's looking like the Chanel logo now. One thing I would do is highlight all of these shapes and I think we want a vertical align center. That's, that just makes sure all our shapes are perfectly in line with one another. Um, after that we're going to highlight them all one more time, right click on them and choose group. We want to make them one big picture. So now we can just pick this up and move it around as if it was one big shape. The final part to this logo is adding in the text. Now Chanel uses a um, special text for their logo but we're not going to download and pay for that. We'll just use a free font which looks quite similar. And that font, one of the most common around it's Arial. So let's select Arial for our font. And instead of choosing the regular style, we'll choose the bold style. Bump it up to its biggest size. And you will have to use your selection tool to resize that even more. The text width is a lot wider than the actual logo itself. Okay, so it's going to look something like that when you're done. If you wanted to, you could highlight this text and go to your character panel. And you could put a bit of spacing between the letters. I know the Chanel logo, if we have a look at it, has a fair amount of white space between each of those letters so feel free to change the tracking here to put a bit of space between those letters could go about up to 50 on the tracking look pretty good that's how I would make the Chanel logo if you want to get them all aligned nicely in the center we'll probably have to do a horizontal align center now they're all centered with each other and we have a complete logo